A couple weeks ago, the University of Virginia won the NCAA basketball tournament for the first time ever. Jam-packed with bracket battles and close calls, it was a pretty rad time, especially for those of us who are UVA alumni. But of course, this really pissed off the usual suspects who try to make anything and everything about politics. And so more than 13,000 people have signed this petition urging UVA to turn down going to the White House because orange man bad, don't you know? Let's check it out. You've just won the NCAA trophy. You're getting a ton of money, girls, paparazzi. What better way to celebrate than a trip to the White House to meet President Andrew Ye- I mean, President Donald Trump. <laughs> Not just yet. But come on, I mean you might get some Mickey D's, Burger King, maybe some Domino's, and trigger left-wing media in the process. Now UVA's basketball team hasn't even received an invitation from Trump yet, but that didn't stop a UVA alum from making a petition signed by more than 13,000 people entitled UVA Cavaliers, celebrate your victory without hate and refuse the White House invitation. The petition claims that since Trump first entered the 2016 presidential race, he has done all he can to stoke racial tension and embolden white supremacists. How about that plummeting black unemployment rate or the recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital? Yeah, I'm sure the white supremacists are absolutely thrilled about those. So the petition says hate crimes are rising. No link, but I'm sure they're using a really reliable source like the Southern Poverty Law Center that hasn't fallen for hoaxes or persistently defame people or anything like that. The petition also claims that by accepting a White House invitation, the team would be condoning the president's reprehensible and divisive behavior, which is unacceptable. And I just want to hone in on this for a second because this is one of those leaps of logic the libs love to pull. Just because I appear somewhere doesn't mean I endorse everything about that person or place. I mean, who honestly thinks that when an athlete accepts, accepts a celebration thrown by someone else, a celebration over sports, he's thereby endorsing that person's politics? No, it's about recognizing that you're the best American sports team, and like him or not, Trump is the leader of the free world and the White House is a symbol of America. Not attending a party he's throwing for you doesn't delegitimize that, no matter how much you want it to do so. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.